Okay, uh, Mr. Aaron Peskin has just been um, re-voted onto the Board of Supervisors. He's an old supervisor, I've never been to him before. L let's just cross our fingers, hope and pray, okay? Hello? Good morning. Good morning. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm okay. Listen, is there any way I can possibly schedule a meeting to speak with the supervisor? Yeah, so the best way to do that is to fill out an appointment request uh -huh. and provide your contact information and we'll get back to you about it. Okay, uh, about thank when. you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, and I'll just leave it here and, and, I'll, and, I'll, and I'll cross my fingers. Unfortunately, to be quite honest with you and to, you know, express it in some humane terms, I've tried to, you know, meet with all the supervisors. And since he's a new one, I'm hoping that, you know, I'll have a little more, shall I say, uh, class and respect as a constituent from him okay. compared to all the rest. Do you live in the district? No, I don't live in this district, but I've had, you know, I've tried to get a hold of the supervisors for the last three years, and I have over a thousand videos on YouTube proving how it doesn't work, especially, especially about a very critical thing, you know, medical care, denial of medical care. Mm -hmm. For example, the San Francisco Police Department doesn't enforce medical law. Let's say I go to the Department of Public Health to seek my medical services, and they break the law and deny me. The sheriff can escort me out because they were hired as security. They're not there to enforce your rights. Okay, yeah. All right. And, you know, this Mario Woods shooting, you know, when they had this big uproar about him getting shot, you know, and they should have something about, you know, to help the mentally disabled and everything. Well, if they don't enforce medical law, mm -hmm. and these people can't get their treatment, right. aren't they going to end up on the street to get shot? Mm -hmm. Point taken. Why don't you and I have three years of making this point. Mm -hmm. On video. Okay. So can you imagine my shock and horror to tell the truth, to have everything, and to be, pardon my French, screwed over mm -hmm. by all these hum humane, supposedly professionals, mm -hmm. when I have all the proof documented? Right. Okay. Well. So you understand the nature of this beast and why I'm trying to meet with Mr. Pesca? Uh, somewhat, but I think that if you I will write, write it down. Yeah, if you write down like what, what it is, or, and specifically if there's a specific ask of the supervisor so that he can, you know... Get the balls rolling in his head about you know what he might be able to do for you. Well, like right now, they're mm -hmm. talking about you know the Department of Justice and the community outreach program, the COP program mm -hmm. for the Mario Woods thing. Well, excuse me, if they still don't enforce medical law, mm -hmm. yeah, you know these people are still going to require the help that they're going to be denied, right. and they're still going to end up on the street. And the Department of Justice is community policy, which is going to have no teeth, no bite. You know, like like the Airbub regulation, mm -hmm. deliberately designed to fail, yeah, okay. is only going to fail. With that one. Huh? Airbub. Airbnb. Oh, Airbnb. You, you know, yeah. where, where yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You know, you're supposed Airbnb. to register with right. the city, blah, 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 blah. Right. What's the enforcement mechanism? Mm -hmm. Right. And there you am. I'm waiting. <laughs> Not like it wasn't brought up by, you know, competent <laughs> individuals when the legislation went through. Mm hmm it's just always a game and an illusion at City Hall, and that's what I'm proving. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not us who has the problem. Mm -hmm. So anyway, let me write this yeah. down and continue. Sounds good. What's